What is up, my peeps? Welcome back to some more Let's Play Pokemon Pika version. I am host, of course, Mysterious Pinoza X. And in the last episode, I don't know who was in charge of the key to the Cinnabar Island gym, but apparently they went to the Pokemon lab and misplaced it. I don't know if it was this guy, I don't know if it was any of the trainers in this gym. Who knows? Who, who knows who could it be? Maybe it could even be uh, the gym leader named Blaine. That's the Pokemon gym leader's name for Cinnabar Island. Um, and he uses fire type Pokemon. My recommended uh, types against all these trainers are water, ground, and I think rock as well. I think rock is also effective against rock. I don't, I'm not sure. Maybe. I don't know. But anyway, um, there is a gimmick just like the Vermilion, just like many of the gyms in this game there are gimmicks so this one is one of them the gimmicky uh gems and stuff i'm about to see right now but first we're facing off against the super nerd who has two vulpixes and one nine tails uh, mostly the level cap in this gym is mostly level 36 um some of them 40 but blaine has some level 50 pokemon and stuff so that's why i recommend your uh, Pokemon be at least somewhere around level 50 and everything because I mean if you even have if you have like a water type like a really good water type Pokemon against Blaine and they're on level 50 then yeah you'll be able to defeat them easily you don't have to like go all the way to like 54 or 55 or something you know what I mean like you'll be still able to defeat Blaine easily and everything so yeah but maybe you guys are wondering why do I sound different that's because I bought a new headset yes I did a couple mic tests and I love the result because pre the previous one that I had used was I think it was called the Turtle Beach uh, Stealth 600 or 700 I think I think it's the 600 it's the one that uh, costs at least a hundred dollars um, yeah it was a yeah it's a 600 I just looked it up right now um, it was a good headset you know I just I loved the whole thing with you know not having to deal with any wires but anyway before I continue talking Pokemon quiz test your skill um, there are nine certified Pokemon League badges no there are eight so you're absolutely correct go on through so you answer quizzes in this uh, gym you answer them correctly you don't have to battle the trainer that's in the room but answer them incorrectly then you have to battle them and stuff so yeah so um, yeah before um, before like <laughs> when I first played this there was some that I just like this one polywag evolves three times the answer is no because polywag only evolves two times <laughs> I answered it wrong because I actually counted Poliwag as an evolved form. <laughs> so that's like kind of like trick right there. So you just gotta like think about that. I'm like, wait, no, it's two. <laughs> so yeah. And then this one over here, Pokemon quiz, test your skill. Are Thunder moves effective against ground element type Pokemon? No, they're ineffective. It's the other way around, pretty much. Ground types are effective against a like uh, Thunder type Pokemon and stuff. Um, so yeah, so far we're going easily. So I think there's like two more quizzes you do in here. Um, this one over here. You know what? I hate being right all the time. Just to make this episode a little longer because this is actually going to be a really short episode. Um, I'm gonna answer this right or wrong, actually. Pokemon are same kind and love same kind and level are not identical. It is actually, um, jeez, I'm, man, I told, like, it's been a while. No. Okay. We answered good. It was actually yes. Um, yeah, that's, that's kind of like, you know, the first, the last two, um, are pretty challenging <laughs> to say the least. So, yeah. But anyway, hey, it's a burglar. So I, in my guess, it probably is one of the burglars who had the key and stuff and just happen to be in the pokemon lab you know uh robbing stuff pretty much well not necessarily robbing since it's pretty much burned and abandoned and stuff but uh yeah um but back to what i was saying about my mic so yeah the previous one i had was the self 600 turtle beach and everything like that. i like 
I loved it. I, I really did. It's just I didn't like how I sounded like in the mic if, microphone um, compared to the previous one I had before the uh, Stealth 600. Um, like, I don't know. I just didn't like how I sounded like. So when I did, uh, so this one I'm using right now, it's called the Turtle Beach Elite Atlas. That's the one. Oh my gosh worth it it's worth the hundred dollars everybody if you're looking for a gaming headset or something to record your videos or anything like that and that has actually a good quality microphone go buy it go buy it you know if you can't afford it you know have somebody buy it for you for christmas <laughs> so yeah they're really great i love them you know i really do so i gotta really be careful with these babies but anyway next question last one Let's see what it is. Pokemon quiz. Test your skill. TM28 contains Tombstoner. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. I don't keep... I don't memorize all what, what the TMs contain. I, I don't, you know. I, I, I don't... <laughs> I don't even know if it's yes or no. I don't even know if it is. Uh, it's Tombstoner. Hmm, I never heard of that move, actually. Sorry, bad call. Yeah, I figured. Um, Tombstone. That sounds like something the Undertaker would teach them if he had Pokemon. <laughs> but anyways, go ahead and yeah, let's just go. Fire is weak against H2O. Well, thank you for telling me. That makes my job a little easier. That makes getting the volcano badge easier. Well, thank you for telling the secret. I didn't have to have the uh, the guy in the in the main entrance <laughs> to tell me that. <laughs> so yeah. Um, let's go DPW. DPW is going to be the MVP on this one for sure, for sure. <laughs> but anyway, the Super Nerd will send another Vulpix. This one actually doesn't have a Ninetales. I wonder why. <laughs> but yeah. We're actually going to send Farley on this one right here, fellas. Let's go ahead. I just want to... The reason why I bring out Farley because he actually knows a new move. And it's probably the best move that any one of the best moves that any fire type pokemon would ever learn i'm of course talking about flamethrower yes flamethrower yeah flamethrower is pretty much a uh, pow uh, power move um it's 100 percent accurate you know just depends if you know any pokemon you know knows any like uh knows any moves that lower your evasiveness um power is uh 90 at at 90 so yeah ha i am blade i am the leader of cinnabar gym my fiery pokemon will incinerate all challengers ha you better have burn heal i don't have burn heal but i do have full heal all right y'all it is time to fight Blaine, the Cinnabar Gym Leader. His first Pokemon he'll send out is a level 48 Ninetales. And of course, just use Surf and you'll be done. <laughs> you'll, be, you'll be done with that Ninetales. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's really not that challenging. Like if you have the patience to grind and level your Pokemon all the way to level 50, you'll easily easily beat this gym you know just with blastoise or you know any other good uh water type pokemon and stuff so yeah but anyway next he will send out a level 50 rapidash rapidash is the evolved form of ponita um i think i don't know if i totally forgot i don't know if it's a certain level it evolves or if you need the fire stone to evolve it i honestly don't remember uh, but anyway, defeated Rapidash, and then he's going to send out his last Pokemon, which is a level 54 Arcanine. Yes, Arcanine is the evolved form of Growlithe. Now, with a Firestone, you, you, with a Firestone, you'll evolve Growlithe into Arcanine and stuff. Oh, okay. Oh, no, takedown. Ooh. Okay, we're okay, we're good right there. I think that was a mistake right there, Blaine. Because takedown, you get hit with recoil. And with that, everybody, we have our seventh gym badge. One more to go. One more to go. 
and we'll be able to, and we'll be able to go to the Pokemon League. I have burnt out. You have earned that volcano badge. Yeah, buddy. Give me that volcano badge. Ha! The volcano badge heightens the special abilities for your Pokemon. Here, you can have this too. And I received TN38, which contains Fire Blast. The ult, just like Thunder with Electric type Pokemon, Fire Blast is the ultimate, well, in this generation's ultimate move and stuff. It's, it's awesome. But you could miss a lot, you know, with it. It's not that really good accurate. It's not really that accurate and stuff. Um, but it's powerful. It really is. So we're going to go ahead and teach it to Farley. Um, which I'll... Hmm. Hmm. This one's going to be a tough one. I don't even know if I wanted to teach him Fire Blast or something. Hmm. 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 Yeah. Let's just do it. Let's, let's just do it. Farley, use fire, learn fire blast. Woohoo! Alrighty then. Well, with that, we are not quite done with Cinnabar Island because there's one more spot that we have. There's one more place that we actually need to go, and we're gonna go ahead and show off right now. Now, remember when we went to Mount Moon and we fought that super nerd, and after that, we were able to get one of the fossils and stuff. Well, in this one. You need to take that fossil to a laboratory located in Cinnabar Island and stuff. And that's how we're able to get the fossil po the three fossil Pokemon, uh, depending on what you get. But since I have two of them, which is the old Amber and the Dome Fossil, um, we'll be able to get Kabuto and Aerodactyl. And we're going to go ahead and show that off right now and where to go pretty much. Um, but Cinnabar Island is just... It's a really small island. There's really not much. There's only the gym, uh, the burnt mansion, um, and the laboratory where you take your fossils and stuff and get the fossil Pokemon and everything. It's not really, not nothing too big, just pretty much that. But it does have relaxing music. It really does. It's one of those uh, Pokemon so po songs in the Pokemon uh, games that are really relaxing and everything. Yeah, it really is. Um... But yeah, but um, yeah, but it's really not much to it. So yeah, but anyway, I think I do remember I do have the uh, dome fossil inside the my PC, so I'm gonna have to take that out and stuff. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, hold on, guys, I'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back. Gonna go ahead and go to the current Pokemon Laboratory. Yeah, I know. I always get the uh, Pokemon Lab. And the Burnt Mansion mix up. I don't know. I just feel like the Burnt Mansion, you know, was a Pokemon laboratory because they're the ones that pretty much discovered Mew. Um, and, you know, Mew gave birth to Mewtwo and stuff. Like, I get, it's a Pokemon lab, right? You know, I guess when they all got burnt, they had to build a new laboratory or something like that. But anyway, in this, uh, in this uh, building, um, there's trainers that are looking to trade uh, Pokemon. Um, there's a one item you do get from a scientist that works here and stuff. Hi, do you have Growlithe? Want to trade for Dugon? Nah, yeah, because I already got a seal and stuff. So, yeah. Um, if you guys do want to trade them, yeah, I guess that's fine. Pokemon Lab R&D Room. This is where we get a TM from one of the scientists. The scientist just tells you that Eevee can evolve to one of three kinds of Pokemon. Uh, depending on what stone you give Eevee. I made a cool TM. It can cause all kinds of trouble. Well, I don't know. I kind of went a little too fast there. Anyway, that TM has Metronome. Metronome is the equivalent of a, uh, a wheel, like a, a wheel from like a quit, like from a, a game show. That's what the, the word I was trying to find. Um, like Wheel of Fortune, pretty much. Whatever the arrow lands on, that's the move you'll get. That's metronome right there. Which, I mean, 
if you want to risk it, then yeah. <laughs> um, I think the most craziest thing that I've... It, it's crazy because I remember playing Pokemon Stadium, which is the N64 for the Nintendo 64. Um, and I remembered I had one of the Pokemon have Metronome and stuff, which is one of the rental Pokemon. And they had Metronome, and you know I just like, oh screw it, you know I'll use I'll use one. And I think it was, I think it was uh, Snorlax that had Metronome or something. I think it was Clef uh, Clefable. I don't remember. Oh, anyway, before I before I continue, I am an important doctor. I study here rare Pokemon fossils. You have you have you have 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 you a fossil for me? I'm sorry. I don't know. That got me a little confused. I'm like, wait, did they do a typo? <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go ahead and give them the Doom f Dome fossil, Dome fossil, um, and which will contain Kabuto and stuff like that. Uh, so we leave it with him, um, and we pretty much come back at a much later time and stuff. Um, I guess this is like you know, going like pretty much. That's probably what I should have done first in this episode. Um, but I don't know. Anyway, it's already been done with. Uh, but continue on with my story. I think it was... I think it was Snorlax that I taught... That has that had Metronome or something. I don't remember. But... it, it Like, I used Metronome and it had... And it... I think it was. I think it was Snorlax. So, I, I used Metronome and he used fly <laughs> yeah it was crazy you just see like a big blue blob just up in the sky it was just hilarious dude <laughs> oh man it was it was the best thing ever metronome's always fun to use on pokemon stadium <laughs> it really is <laughs> just to see those funny animations especially with fly and everything so yeah but anyway, we're pretty much finished with Cinnabar Island, everybody. There's really not much to show. So we're going to go ahead and go up this route, which will lead us back all the way to Pallet Town. Yes, our hometown of Pallet. Why? Because if you remembered, I believe the episode where we went to the Viridian Forest, I think it was episode two, um, there was a gym that was locked and we couldn't go in. That's because that is the eighth gym that we go to get our eighth to get the gym badge and stuff yes but here's a catch no one knows who's the gym leader is it could be anyone it could be professor oak it could be your mom um it could be one of professor oak's assistants i don't know who could it be um my guess is my mom. <laughs> my mom could be a gym leader. Why not? <laughs> you know, maybe uh, Professor O gave her a Pokemon, trained it, and everything. And I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. Who who this mysterious uh, po uh, gym leader is. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So we're over here back in Palantown, everybody. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Hopefully everyone enjoyed and hopefully everyone found this helpful. This episode helpful, you know, helping you defeat Blaine and everything like that. But anyway, this has been Mysterious Pinoza X, everybody. Saying good night, good morning, good day. Whatever time you guys are watching this video, I will see you guys on the next one. And, hope, and let me know what you guys think about my new microphone. Is it good? Is it better than the previous one? Let me know. Thank you guys so much. Have a good one.